Welcome to the Science Asylum. I am Nick Lucid. So Jimmy Starr wants me to do a video on why time slows down at faster speeds. Two comments, huh? Someone was determined. First, it's called time dilation, which is kind of a misnomer. The word dilate actually means to become larger, which is technically the exact opposite of what time is doing. But at this point, we've been using the term for over a century, so we're stuck with it. Second, there are a bunch of traditional ways to handle this, but the last thing I am is traditional. You crazies know that. Third, we're going to need some context. Let's see... Whoa, whoa, are you sure you want to go in there? It's scary sometimes. Okay, then. Let's say I'm standing on the side of the road waiting for Awkward M. Then suddenly she zooms past at 80 miles per hour. Time is going a little slower for her because she's moving. Wait, what? How come we never noticed this? Well, because the difference is small, like femtosecond small. One femtosecond is .0000, it's 14 zeros and a one. For some perspective, take one second and divide it into a thousand pieces. One of those pieces is a millisecond, which is already beyond human perception. To get a femtosecond, you have to do that four more times. Okay, so normally it's really small, but not when things go fast, fast. We have to deal with it all the time in particle accelerators. We've measured the difference using atomic clocks on the space shuttle, and no GPS satellite would work without accounting for it. It's real! But what causes it? To understand that, we need to look a little deeper. No, 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 not in there yet! There are a couple things we need to make very clear about the physics here. First of all, space and time are just two parts of a bigger idea. Space-time. They are one. And you're always moving through it, no matter what. I might be standing still and M might be moving through space, but time is passing for both of us. So these are the paths that we each take through space-time. Second, there are a lot of things that are relative to your point of view. But the laws of physics are never based on those. Ever. They're based on the things that aren't relative. The things that are always the same no matter what. Your speed might be relative, but the speed of light is not. We call them space-time invariants, and they're really important. Space-time itself is another one of those invariants. Space and time might be independently relative, but together they are absolute. Now let's go back to that car. When M was sitting in the driveway, she was only moving through time. But once she's moving through space, she has to give up some of her time to keep her space-time the same. If space goes up, then time has to go down. It's as simple as that. Or is it? Dun, dun, dun. So what's the fastest you've ever gone? Please share in the comments. And until next time, remember, it's okay to be a little crazy.